Guys, it's TYT Sports, Ben Mankiewicz and Francis Maxwell talking a little, uh, well, obviously the World Cup is, uh, is right on the horizon. Yeah. I, normally, I hate the commercials that, uh, that sort of, I was going to say exploit, it's not quite fair to say exploit, but where we see someone who's overcome something and then yeah. you're inspired by this video and then it turns out that they just want you to buy their product. Yeah. And I get a little irritated. Yeah. Uh, but this ad, which is a Powerade commercial, right. but you don't have to buy Powerade. Yeah. Um, uh, if you want to, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um, check the sugar content. Uh, but um, uh, this is uh, Nico Calabria. N N Nico Calabria. And I, I think he's on the top of my list right now for people that I would um, love to just sit down and meet. Above all celebrities, I think he, he's inspiring. Um, I, well, I, don't be silly. Not above no, all celebrities. No, really, for me, he right now. I mean, he they're is. celebrities. For I mean, I know out loud. even the best-looking celebrities. Uh, if Rose Huntington, if I was to come up and ask me to meet, I would have to. Toss I literally don't both. know. You're Scott. You're so Scottish. Who's Rose Huntington? <laughs> you know Rose Huntington, the Transformers girl. Come on, fellas, man. He's, he's even. He's get out of the house at all. <laughs> he's allowed to watch TV with with females in it. The Transformers. It's literally, those are literally the worst movies ever. Made. I know, but I watched it just for her. It was Megan Fox and then Rose Huntington. Oh, oh she's the girl who replaced Megan. Fox. Megan Fox, and uh, she replaced her. Okay, so anyway, back to the real the real matter. Nico. Nico Calabria. <laughs> uh, here's the commercial. It's amazing. Yeah. Can you stand up on one leg, Nikolai? No. Oh, oops! Bumped your head. Can you hop, hop? Hop, hop, hop. Nikolai. Hop, hop, hop for your foot. Mm. <laughs> Blow it out. <laughs> what do you think you're going to do today? How old are you now? The best thing about this commercial is it, is it starts off and it shows this, this young, uh, a young Nico uh, going through this, this part of his life with born with no right leg or hip and uh, again it's, it's so inspiring to watch. I think a part of the clip his, his mother or father asks him what do you want to do today at young, a young age and he just comes out and says play. And uh, that for me is what, is what got me, he's like, he doesn't let any boundaries stop on me, he just wants to play and that's just something, he's, it's just something that, that touched me when I was watching it. Um, it's amazing to see. He doesn't let any anything kind of stop him from doing what he wants to do. Yeah, you know, and his, his parents, uh, who are clearly, it would seem, terrific parents. Yeah. You, every parent wants to do what's best for their kids, but one of the things for him was helping him out with the prosthetic leg. But you see him there when he has it on. Yeah. It's new to him. Yeah. It scares yeah, him. Scares He's him. crying. It probably hurts. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the parents got to tough that out because they got to know. Yeah. They know. And what you want to do is take the thing off and hold them in your exactly. arms and tell them it's okay because obviously it's okay to have one yeah. leg. It's fine. Um, uh, and I, I, so I'm, I'm just. You see that in your. Incre I'm incredibly impressed with everybody. Exactly. Incredibly impressed with the parents. Incredibly. I think impressed everything all around it. The parenting is replicated in how nice of an individual this boy is. His modesty is something that celebrities and everyone involved in the spotlight should look and take 
uh, take from this because he, he comes out even 15 years after this, uh, the start of the video where he said he just wants to play and it's the same thing again. He just says all he wants to do is to, is to play the game. It's always been that and it's uh, soccer is the one. He played so many sports, I think, and he was good at all of them by the, the video. It's so impressive. He's and climbed he, Mount Kilimanjaro. He, he climbed Mount Kilimanjaro when he was 13 years of age uh, for charity and not, not just on his own. If it was for charities, it looks if like he's doing something for others on top of it. But then when you watch the clip and you see him play soccer, it's so impressive. With uh, crutches and one leg and he bangs in a 30 yarder into the top bin. I mean, that is so impressive to, to, to see that. And then again, he comes out and he just says, well, what's the big deal? I just want to play. So he's so modest. Like other people would be like, yeah, one leg, I banged that in the top corner. What can you do? But he doesn't. It's just all about his modesty. If I ever start working out again, and I won't. <laughs> Fingers I'm crossed. Gonna, I'm going to have a power aid. Ha, ha, ha.